Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing something that's been highly requested for a while and that is going through the official Assassin's Creed Origins website. Now, there's a lot of information that came from this website, um, including things regarding combat, the world mostly, and quest systems and things like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead, hop into this and see what we can find. So here we are on the website, starts off, we've got the trailer here, don't really care about the trailer, I've already seen it. Then we've got this little description just talking about how the origin of the Assassin's Brotherhood is starting here, and that's really cool. And then we've got these three sections. Before we do that, check out, as always, entertainment. Top link in the description. Pledge $1, and you get all this extra lovely, lovely content. It's really good. It's really, really worth your time, I promise. We've got a great community here with some good people. It's a really good time. Just uploaded a new podcast. Hello, everybody. How's it going? And welcome back to the Kill Connor Clubhouse, Patreon-exclusive podcast. And I'm joined, as always, by Tyler. As It's pretty as good, always. isn't it? Yes. I didn't even introduce I... myself. <laughs> I'm James, by the way. It's pretty good. If you didn't know. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead into the country... We're going to go ahead into the discovery page first and look at all these various areas that are in the world of Assassin's Creed Origins, starting with Giza and Memphis. So we've got these little things on each page. I love this website, by the way. It's really cool. Uh, and you can see, like, the environment here looking really, really nice. And the description reads, Position near the mouth of the Nile Delta, Giza and Memphis are home to the Great Pyramids, the Sphinx, and the Egyptian capital during the Old Kingdom. Explore the tombs and catacombs in search of the area's lost secrets and dark tales. Decrypt hieroglyphics as you solve riddles and slowly unravel the foundations of this ancient civilization. Which sounds really, really cool. Very mysterious and interesting. I feel like this might be one of the best areas of the game but looking very very nice nonetheless look at that awesome shot bloody hell fucking gorgeous so the next area is Siwa is it yes so the next area is Siwa and this is the home to Bayek our main protagonist uh, is again you can see this lovely thing right here showing the environment and the description reads discover the agony of exile while walking among the poor souls of the Siwa oasis one of the loneliest and most isolated places in all of ancient Egypt it's situated below sea level making the climate hot and dry and less than ideal for would-be scavengers still there are temples and even a necropolis which means there's plenty to uncover if you can handle the discomfort be careful as you traverse the barren sands however you may find yourself losing your grip on reality now to me that sounds like like mirage and shit. I'm expecting a bit of mirage and shit at this point. You know what I mean? From the leak. I, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, very, very interesting stuff and um, looking forward to seeing more from this area. Gonna be a super cool area to explore. Uh, among all the areas. The next one we got here is the Nile Delta. The description reads, The Nile Delta is a land of plenty and danger. The fertile land where the Nile River flows into the Mediterranean Sea are the source of an abundant life. Here you'll find farmers tiling the land, growing crops that keep the surrounding cities moving, and soldiers and brutes who exert control over the people. What else will you find exploring these grounds? Looking very interesting. A lot of watery areas and wildlife going on here, which looks very interesting. We're gonna be, This surely will be a nice place for hunting, which uh, is looking very, very interesting. And the last location is the Fayum. I think I'm saying that right. Hopefully, if I'm not, correct me. Let me know in the comment section. But the description reads, Fayum is one, another one of the many oasis lands in Egypt. It was once a great sea, but is now home to the bones of great ancient whales. It's also home to an abundance of history that can be found throughout the land. So this is an area where it looks like there's going to be a lot of old ancient ruins and things like that. Very, very interesting stuff. So this is going to be a fun area to explore, but all the areas look fun to explore. So, you know, there's just that. But all the areas look diverse and nice. So that's very, very cool. So the next section we've got here is the combat section of the website, which talks about the refined combat. Uh, here it just talks about how the combat's rebuilt, it's now a hitbox system, etc, etc. Nice screenshot. I've talked about this a lot though, so we're just going to go ahead and skip to the next section, which is the weapon types. So here it shows all of the weapon types, giving some examples. We've got the heavy weapons with the head splitter here and the skull breaking club, looking really, really nice. That's going to prove for some awesome finishing moves. Then we've got the swords here with the copesh, and we've got this lovely, beautiful thing right here, looking very cool. Um, then of course, dual wielding is a thing you can do in the game. If you want to dual wield, you can with these weapons right here. So I'm sure there'll be a large range. Now, these aren't the only weapons in like heavy. Uh, these aren't the only two heavy weapons. These aren't the only swords. There'll be obviously be more, but these are just a few examples. Then we've got the long weapons. We've got the pharaoh's the pharaoh's mace, which is looking very nice, kind of Donatello style. And then we got the Cerisa, which is a nice little spear right here. Then we've got the various bows you can get in the game. Obviously not all of them, but a few of the bows you can get in the game, looking really nice. I really like the hunter bow. It looks very very cool. And then of course shields, looking very nice with images 
to go along with them. And the next section is talking about weapon rarity, talking about, you know, there's common, rare, and legendary weapons that you can find throughout the game, and the more the more rare a weapon is, the better it's going to be to using combat, better skills, better damage, things like that. Of course, very nice and worth more if maybe you wanted to sell it back to a blacksmith, so there's always that. And the last section we've got here is of the quest. So now here's here's the section where they talk about the new quest system. Basically, talking towards you know there's 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 you know there's a main quest that goes from start to finish, but there are a ton of side quests in the game, all with their own unique stories. You can track them in any order you want to track them in. So if you want to just you know you have a quest log like in other RPG games, which is absolutely fantastic news. Of course, some nice screenshots here, but just the way it's talking about each one has its own story. You know, it, it pieces together the world. You get to learn about these characters, these NPCs. Very very interesting stuff. Very Horizon Zero. Zero Dawn, Witcher 3 style, and I'm really looking forward to exploring some of those side activities. Now here we've got the new AI system, and this essentially talks towards, you know, the new AI has goals and needs, and they'll walk around the streets, you know, at night time they'll go to their homes, you know, things like that, they've got their own cycle, and the AI is incredibly improved, you know, and it's it's an NPC, and like, they all have kind of individual personalities, so it's like The Witcher 3, the way that you've got certain characters that are in the world that are NPCs, and you might see them in one place, then see them in another place, they can end up in a city, and you're like, oh, they've just been going doing their normal daily routine, you know, they, they, they might live in a village, and then like, for their work, they have to travel to the city, and you can you can see that happen in the game. Now, I would take some of this with a grain of salt. I feel like it's not as exaggerated as that. However, I think it will be some improved AI. It's probably not as in-depth as that, because of course they're trying to sell their game, but I don't think it's a straight-up lie. I think it's maybe an exaggeration of something that is in the game. Now, of course, we've got wildlife as well, talking about, you know, they'll fight each other, uh, which is cool. They'll also kill kill guards. I feel like if guards are on patrol and they come into contact with a lion, they're dying. The, the guard's gonna be dead. The lion will kill them. Uh, so that's really, really cool. And of course, there's a new breadth of enemies, including the new boss character characters with their unique fighting styles, which is really nice, and of course we've got these nice screenshots to go along with those too. Now I will link this website in the description here, you can see all of the latest news, they keep you up to date if you just want a quick bit of news. Of course you can stay by my channel though, so hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, I'll keep you updated on all the news. I promise. But if you do want to check this out for yourself and you do want to head over to the website and have a little look at everything in depth, I will link it in the description, of course. It's a very, very nice website giving all the information. I really, really like it. So good one. Good one there, Ubisoft. And of course, we've got the media tab, which contains uh, a nice amount of all of the trailers and screenshots and concept art uh, that are available, uh, like this one with the camel. Nice. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, be, be sure to hit the like button because I really, really appreciate that. Subscribe to stay up to date. I'd appreciate that too. And over the next few days, I'm going to have less videos coming out like I've talked about because, of course, I'm not going to be uh, as active. But I do have videos prepared, so do not fear. But there will be slightly less over the next couple of weeks. But that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. We'll be fine. I'll stream stuff like that. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And maybe I'll also be on the uh, my... Um, second channel hopefully doing a few vlogs because i want to keep that channel updated keep to keep going on it so if you want to stay up to date with things that i'm doing in my real life go subscribe to my second channel link in the description see how many subs we can get it i'm pretty sure it's not like 1500 you need more anyways thanks for joining me thanks for watching i'll see you all next time video is so close to 10 minutes let's just let's all just um you can leave now i just wanted to get this 10 minutes because I'm not uploading as much over the next few days. I just want a bit more of that ad revenue. Just just to boost it just a little bit. I love you all. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Thanks for watching.